Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. We have had 15 consecutive days without any measurable precipitation. There are a couple days with traces in there, but that's not enough to measure, and that counts as zero for this purposes, according to the National Weather Service. The last time we had anything measurable was barely measurable. That was November 25th to one hundredths of an inch. That is almost nothing. And if it wasn't for this date, there was nine days before that where we didn't get any precipitation either. So it was another streak. We would be up actually at 29 days uh, if it wasn't for those light uh, systems. Early in November, though, we did get a lot of rain over a period of just two days, November 9th and 10th, almost two inches of rain. But since then, a full month in the long month too, 31 days, a quarter of an inch total between all of those 31 days. Technically, if you want to be really precise, a hundredth of an inch, more than a quarter of an inch at 0.26, but that's it. The difference between two inches and a quarter inch, it's a, kind of a tale of two halves uh, parts of the calendar there at least. The longest our streak has ever been without any measurable precipitation is almost 50 days at 49 in 1944. We had another one of 41 in 1896, but no other streak has lasted even 35 days. Lots in the low 30s. We have to double our current streak in order to get there. But again, if we didn't have that one uh, little rain day there, it would be 29 consecutive days and we would be tied for 10th. A lot of snow off to our southeast as we head into Saturday morning. That doesn't affect us and fizzles out for even them. We clear out a little bit by afternoon. Overnight partial clearing again will allow temperatures to fall into the teens. And then starting with sunshine or at least partial sunshine and clouding up as the day goes on Sunday, that leads to some light snow chances, especially north of Eau Claire. If that misses us for at least Eau Claire where the climate conditions are taken and that's where that streak is, we could go a whole nother week or perhaps even longer without any precipitation as the trends continue to look dry. 35 degrees for the high on your Saturday. Wind chills though between 15 and 25 even into the afternoon. That's because of a wind 10 to 20 into the uh, throughout the day. That could even gust at times into the 20s. So it's going to feel cold with that wind. And then while the wind comes down overnight, the lows will fall into the teens. That's because the sky clears out with that light wind. For Sunday, a similar high temperature, 35. Slight chance of snow in the afternoon as the clouds start to thicken up. The wind will be out of the southwest at 6 to 12, but that snows along a cold front. And that's going to bring colder air, northwest winds in early next week, already down to 12 Sunday night. Monday, only mid 20s, finally a day near or even a little bit below average. Same for the lows, maybe slightly below average, but pretty close within a couple of degrees. Monday night could get into the single digits. Certainly looks like low to mid teens to start next week. We'll see some improvement towards the end of the week, but again, while precipitation chances are minimal, we're still going to see a good amount of cloud cover.